Hello friends, welcome to the point. In today's session, let's discuss about the Mughal Empire. Babur was the founder of Mughal Empire in India and his original name was Jahiruddin Muhammad. He was related to a Timur from his father's side and Changish Khan from his mother's side. Baba succeeded his father Umar Sheikh Mirza as the ruler of Fargana. But he was defeated by his distinct relative and as a result he lost his kingdom. He became a wanderer for some time till he captured Kabul from one of his uncles. Then Baba took interest in conquering India and he launched four expeditions between 1519 and 1523. Military conquest. So on the eve of Babur's invasion of India, there were five prominent Muslim rulers. They are the Sultans of Delhi, Sultans of Gujarat, Malwa, Bengal and the Deccan and two prominent Hindu rulers and they are Rana Sangha of Mewar and the Vijayanagara Empire. Once again by the end of 1525 Baba started from Kabul to conquer India and he occupied Lahore easily by defeating its governor Daulat Khan Lodi and then he proceeded against Delhi where Ibrahim Lodi was a Sultan. On 21st April 1526, the first battle of Panipat took place between Babur and Ibrahim Lodi. Babur's success was due to his cavalry and artillery. Babur occupied Delhi and sent his son Humayun to seize Agra. Babur proclaimed himself as Emperor of Hindustan. His subsequent victories over Rana Sangha and the Afghans secured his position as a ruler of India. Rana Sangha of Mewar, he was a great Rajput warrior. He marched against Babur and in the Battle of Kanua near Agra, which was held in 1527 by Babur, Babur won a decisive victory over him and Babur assumed the title called Ghazi. In 1528, Babur captured Chanderi from another Rajput ruler, Medini Rai. In the next year, Babur defeated the Afghans in the battle of Gogra in Bihar and by this victories, Babur consolidated his power in India and Babur died at Agra in 1530 at the age of 47. Estimate of Babur so Babur was a great statesman and a man of solid achievements. He was also a great scholar in Arabic and Persian languages. Turkey was his mother tongue. He wrote his memoirs called Tujuk e Baburin, Turkey language. So it provides a vivid account of India. So Babur, in his memories, in the book called Tujuk e Babri, he frankly confessed his own failures without, without suppressing any facts. So he was also a naturalist and he described the flora and fauna in India. Humayun. So he ruled from 1530 to 1540. Humayun was the eldest son of Babur and Humayun means fortune. But Humayun remained the most unfortunate ruler of Mughal ruler. Humayun had three brothers, Kamran, Aksari and Hindlal. 
Humayun divided the empire among his three brothers, but this proved to be a great blunder on this part. Kamran was given Kabul and Kandar. Sambal and Alwar. Sambal was given to Aksar and Alwar was given to Hindal. When Humayun was busy in fighting with Afghans in the east, he got the news that Bahadur Shah of Gujarat he was advancing towards Delhi. So therefore, he hastily concluded a treaty with Afghan leader Sher Khan, who was later called as Sher Shah, and he proceeded towards Gujarat. Humayun captured Gujarat from Bahadur Shah and he appointed Aksari, his brother, as its governor. But soon Bahadur Shah recovered Gujarat from Aksari. By that time, Sher Khan became most powerful in the east. Humayun marched against him in the battle of Chausa, which was held in 1539. And Sher Khan, he destroyed Mughal army and Humayun escaped from there. After escaping, Humayun reached Agra to negotiate with his brothers. But there was no cooperative among them. Humayun was forced to fight with Sher Khan alone in the battle of Bilgram in 1540. And this battle was also known as the Battle of Kanauj. Humayun was truly defeated by Sher Khan and after losing his kingdom, Humayun became an exile for the next 15 years. Sur Interregnum. This was ruled from 1540 to 1555. The founder of Sur dynasty was Sher Shah, whose original name was Farid. So, Farid was the son of Hasan Khan, who was a Jagirdar of Sasaram in Bihar. Later, Farid served under the Afghan ruler of Bihar, who gave him the title Sher Khan for his bravery. So, we have already seen how Sher Shah, he defeated Humayun at the Battle of Chausa and he became the ruler of Delhi in 1540. Sher Shah Sur He waged extensive wars with Rajputs and he expanded his empire. His conquest include Punjab, Malwa, Sindh, Multan and Bandelkhand. His empire consisted of the whole of North India except Assam, Nepal, Kashmir and Gujarat. Sher Shah's administration Although his rule lasted for five years, he organized a brilliant administrative system. The central government consisted of several departments. The king was assisted by four important ministers. They are Divan E. Vizarat, also known as Wazir. So, Wazir was in charge of revenue and finance. Divan e Ariz, he was in charge of army, and Divan e Razlat, meaning foreign minister. Divan e Insha means minister for communications. Sher Shah's empire was divided into 47 sarkars. Chief Shikhtar means law and order, and Chief Munsif means judge, where the two officers in charge of administration in each sarkar and each sarkar was divided into several parganas shikdar military officer amin land revenue fordar treasurer karkuns accountants were in charge of administration of each pargana and there were also many administrative units called Iktas. The land revenue administration was well organized under Sher Shah. Land survey was carefully done. All the cultivable lands were classified into three classes. 
good middle and bad the state share was one third of the average produce and it was paid in cash or crop his revenue reforms increased the revenue of the state sher shah introduced new silver coins called dam and they were in circulation till 1835 sher shah had also improved the communication by laying four important highways and they are sonar gaon to sind agra to burhampur jodhpur to chittur and lahore to multan rest houses were built on the highways for the convenience of travelers police was efficiently reorganized and crime was very less during his resign the military administration it was also efficiently reorganized and sher shah borrowed many ideas like branding of ha- horses from alauddin khalji estimates of sher shah sher shah he remained a pious muslim and generally a tolerant towards other religions also he employed hindus in important offices he was a great patron of art and architecture he built a new city on the bank of river emuna near delhi now the old fort called purana kila and its mosque is alone serving surviving there and he also built a mausoleum at sasaram which is considered as one of the masterpieces of indian architecture sher shah he also patronized the learned men malik mohammad jaisi he wrote the famous hindi work padmavati during his reign and after sher shah's death in 1545 his successor ruled till 1555 when humayun reconquered india humayun so when humayun left india in 1540 he married Hamida Banu Begum on his way to Sind when they stayed in Amarkot a Hindu kingdom ruled by Rana Prasad and Akbar was born in 1542 Humayun then proceeded to Iran and sought help from its rulers and he later defeated his brothers Kamran and Aksari so in the meantime Sur dynasty in India was declining rapidly and in 1555 Humayun defeated the Afghans and he recovered the Mughal throne and after 6 months he died in 1556 due to his fall from the staircase of his library Although Humayun was not a good general and warrior he was kind and generous he was also a learned person and he was a student of mathematics astronomy and astrology he loved paintings and he wrote poetry in persian language so let's continue our discussion on mughal empire in the next session thank you